We don't want 100%. We need it. And in my eyes, there's a massive difference in want and need. What will it mean to you to get 100% redress? What it means, it means we can give our kids a secure home again. They can go to bed at night and not worry about the latest pop, or the latest crack, or calling you down to their mum, a piece of plaster's fallen off the wall. There's no worries like that. You'll be able to move back home, know that the home is safe, secure, and it will be a home again. What do you say to people at home, and I put this to all of you, uh, who say, OK, this could cost anything up to two, three, four billion euro. Um, it'll be paid for by the taxpayer. And they might think, God, that's a lot of money for other people's houses. And I'm not sure if that's, if that's something I'm not, I really want to be getting involved in. Do you, do you think that they, do you understand where they're coming from, Paul? Or do you feel that the people have to be very understanding about yeah, this? I mean, I mean, I never, ever thought that I'd be on the streets campaigning to ask a government to pay for my home, ever. I mean, yes. I went to university for eight years, studied a degree, did a PhD, came back, got an academic job to, for social mobility and get myself ongoing. And everyone else is the same. Um, I mean, the, the bottom line for me is this, is that, is that what is unfolding in Donegal is a humanitarian crisis. It's not a financial crisis. You know, uh, we don't particularly want to go and ask the government to pay for this. But the bottom line is, is that you know, but the failure of regulation, the buck stops with them. And as it stands at the minute, there is still nothing has changed in terms of regulations. You know, Dara O'Brien's big housing plan for, for all that was announced a few weeks ago is a big projection to build 30, 30 odd thousand homes in Dublin. I mean, there is nothing to stop the effect of blocks getting into the market there to, to, to build those homes. Mm -hmm. So we're here to campaign to stop that practice. And we're also here to, to uh, campaign for the government to look at its Irish citizens and do what's right for its people. Its primary role is to look after us. They looked after the banks during the banking crisis and bailed them out at 64 billion and it didn't cost them a drop of a hat. So it's time to step up and look after the citizens. Okay. And if it costs three billion, then so what? Let it be a learning lesson for the government because they need to regulate so this doesn't happen ever again.